Bearcat Stadium is said to be one of the best facilities for football and track in Division II. So why are there soccer lines on the field? The answer is on this week of Dominic's Fun Facts. Authentic turf was installed at Bearcat Stadium during the summer of 2007. Along with end zones and logos, black soccer lines were added to give Northwest Soccer a second option. We knew that we could play on this field with any conditions, so we wanted to make sure that we had uh, the field prepared in such a way that would allow us to do that. So as a result, we, we put down the lines that you currently see. Currently, it's a second uh, game option. Uh, it also is a practice option. We have the option of going on there, which is great, and it's worked to our advantage. Northwest plays their home games here at Bearcat Pitch. However, in the near future, it's quite possible they could be playing at Bearcat Stadium. It potentially could do that. Yes, it could. Um, you know, one of the, I mean, we have everything there, of course. We have the stands there. We have the press box there. We have the concession stands. We have the line, so that could easily work. But, um, of course, the size of crowds that we draw for soccer are not that large. And it's getting better every year. But at this particular point, uh, we kind of feel that if we moved all the games in there permanently, uh, the stadium would kind of overshadow the play on the field. It's just almost like a little too big. But nonetheless, uh, we, we put this in mind in such a way that this could become the permanent home for for all of our games if we elect to do that. We, we probably do need to get in there soon and just to experiment and see. Um, but, you know, they just changed over to turf last year. Soccer may get to try out Bearcat Stadium this weekend with the Bearcat Classic Soccer Tournament. If the weather doesn't cooperate, all the games will be moved to Mill Church Mafield. If you want to see other fun fact videos, feel free to check out our YouTube page. And if you see anything interesting or odd around Maryville or Northwest Missouri, send me an email. You never know if it could be a fun fact. That's going to do it for Dominic's Fun Facts this week. Until next time, take care.